in some instances is about the adaptive reuse of existing buildings. Mm -hmm. So we've just um, signed a deal in Southsea near Portsmouth, which is an old John Lewis, and that's converting to hotel, cinema, gym, three restaurants, co-working space, and hotel. I mean, it's the real uh, repurposing of that building, but that's essentially an existing building. But then in other instances, as in you know Nuneaton, where we've just started on site there, which has been facilitated by the uh, West Midlands, Midlands Combined Authority, that's about regeneration of what is you know, a very tired center of town. The hotel will be phase one, but very soon after that will be cinema, resi, some community um, services, big car park, and you know, that mixed use new build development is is um, on the increase. We you know we would hope in the next few weeks to announce three or four other projects that are in that same genre. Yeah, I mean we do have brands to to suit you know um, different scenarios, but by definition the high street is always in the middle of something, and quite often you have these if it's department stores you have these quite deep footprints with pillars and no natural daylight. So we have a, a brand like Motto by Hilton that can have a percentage of its rooms without natural daylight. Or we have other brands that are more lending themselves to adaptive reuse in terms of their flexibility. Um, that's where it's an existing building. And, the, the, you know, with the challenges that sort of departmental store conversion will throw up. But again, then we have new build opportunities. And, yeah, we've got a range of brands depending on market positioning, the amount of investment available, the space available um, to deploy. And are you typically uh, working as Hilton or are you partnering with licensees or operators or uh, how, does it, how does it typically work? We, are, we, we, we grow by management agreement or franchising. So we can give you the option. Nuneaton uh, Council preferred for Hilton to manage. So that's what we're doing. In other instances, we might be working to franchise it, but with a third-party operator providing the management services. So we're pretty agnostic as to which it is, but we're giving people the option of both. And uh, just from a macro perspective, you know, the, the, the market is in a state of flux. Interest rates are going up on both sides of the Atlantic and beyond. Uh, we've also seen massive increases in energy pricing and so on. Are there other macroeconomic factors that are impacting your decision-making looking forward, say, the next 12 to 18 months? Well, clearly, um, if you can build hotels that are um, respectful of schedule of areas, can be constructed for less, can be operated by fewer people, but convert at a higher margin, then this is all good stuff. And something like Hampton by Hilton does all of that. That's why it's been so successful in its growth in the UK. I think we're at 40 operating now with another 20 under construction. So, of course, um, labor is a huge constraint in finding good labor. So a number of our brands are what we call focus service. Essentially, they require less staff to provide the service, largely because they have less food and beverage. They're nearly always located by restaurants and cinemas and other forms of sort of uh, hospitality. Mm -hmm.